You can't play me, I know it. Not all on ladies with skirts, you know, but I'm just saying. People are trying to put it on the outside and they really struggle with it on the inside because they haven't made a relationship connection that they are what they are behind closed doors and they are what they are the same outside of those doors. That's a relationship with God. Say amen. So this is why, hear me, this is why we are celebrating today and because today is the most important day of our lives as believers. It's more important than the Easter bunny. And let me say that to you, bunnies don't lay eggs. Okay, just so you know that, bunnies don't lay eggs. It's not about suits and dresses. It's not about going to church because everybody else does. It's about the fact, I'm about to preach real good in here. It's about the fact that Jesus, who was sent from God, was born of a virgin, walked on the earth, was put on the cross because of my sin. He was pierced in the side, nailed in his hands, nailed in his feet. A crown of thorn put on his head. He died. He went to hell to pay the price for my sin. That should have been me in hell, but Jesus said, I'll take your place. Guess why he did that? He didn't do that just for you to come to church on Sunday. He did that to reconnect your relationship with God. So when Jesus got up, God said, yes. Come on. When Jesus got up, God said, yes. I got my kids back. I'm in a relationship with my kids. Now nothing is stopping us. Come on, are you excited about that? Because when Jesus died for you, he connected you with God. Hear me, young people. Hear me, old people. You need a relationship with God if you're going to make it in the earth. He didn't die for religion. He died for your relationship. He didn't do that just so you can come here every single week. He died so that you can have intimate fellowship with God. Y'all feel me? God, so you can have an intimate, personal relationship with God. That you don't have to come to me to talk to God. You can go to God and talk to God. Are y'all with me? How many of y'all excited about being able to talk to God for yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So man, that's what I'm saying. It is worth praising God for. Because what Jesus did is he gave me a divine hookup. Have you ever had somebody in your life that hooks you up? They give you a divine hookup. You know that when you're with them, you know that they make things happen. Guess what Jesus did? He gave you a divine hookup with God. Man, that's what I'm so excited about because I'm blessed and my haters can't do anything about it. Because I know the man who is in charge. Yeah, you might not want to open the door for me, but I know the man that owns the door. You might not want to give me the car, but I know the man that manufactured the car. Come on, is there anybody that's excited about a hookup? Come on, I got the hookup. Holla in you. Yeah, I got the hookup because I have a divine hookup because I'm connected with God. Me and God are tight. Me and God are one. I'm not worried about what God's will is for my life because I'm walking with God every day. I'm, I'm, I'm walking in what his plan is for my life. Thank God for a divine hookup. Thank God for a divine hookup. Would you say a divine hookup? Wow. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. I just stepped myself from preaching right there because I was about to go in and preach. The Bible says in John 15 and 13, greater love has no man than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. Let me say this to you again. Greater love has no man than this than for him to lay down his life for his friend. Jesus laid down his life for you. He calls you a friend. Religious people struggling with calling God a friend. But thank God for what Jesus did for me. Me and Jesus are tight. Me and Jesus are boys. I know Jesus and he knows me. I don't have to come to church to get to know him. I bring Jesus with me. That's why he says when two or three are gathered, he's in the midst. It's more than two or three of us in here, so he's in the room right now. Come on, just shout Jesus. Yeah. Come on, man, help me preach. Y'all too lots of days over there. Come on, shout Jesus. Yeah. Man, I'm a friend of God. He calls me friend. When you sing that in religious church, they're like, <laughs> he's about to strike me dead. I ain't a friend of God. You still worried about your sin. And you haven't realized that what Jesus Christ did on the cross for you is he paid the price for your sin. Yeah. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. 
this is the benefit of having Jesus because you're walking around with guilt and condemnation and shame and Jesus said you don't have to walk around with guilt, condemnation and shame because I took it come on so when I get done I say God I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that but thank you for taking my guilt and my shame I don't have to walk around pounding and depressed because I'm able to walk in freedom say freedom Jesus died for you. We look like we're going to get out of church early today. Is that cool? Three reasons Jesus died for you. Number one is this, to restore your relationship with God. To restore your relationship with God. Hear me, ships transport things or people from one place to another. Ships, right? That's what ships do. They're designed to carry people or things from one place to another. So this is what a relationship is. A relationship is a connection with a person or a place that is supposed to take you somewhere. And some of you guys are with people that ain't taking you nowhere. Some of y'all are around in relationships relationships and dating folks that ain't taking you nowhere. Some of y'all in churches that ain't taking you nowhere. Look at somebody and say, I gotta get some new relationships. Yeah, so what Jesus did was he restored your relationship with God. Because when you get with God, God takes you somewhere. God takes you into your purpose. He takes you into your destiny. He begins to make things unfold in your life. That's why you need a relationship with God. If you're stagnant, check your relationship with God. If you're not where you want to be, check your relationship with God. Because when you're with God, you're going somewhere. Is there anybody? I just feel like Mary Mary. I'm just, I'm just walking. I'm just walking because when I'm walking with Jesus, he he just takes me somewhere. I'm not where I used to be. When I look back over my life, then I think things over. But is there anybody in the room today that can say when they look back over their life, all the stuff they had their hand in, they are not where they used to be. Thank God for Jesus. or a place that's supposed to take you somewhere. So some of you need to survey the relationships that are in your life. This is why relationship is one of the, I'm sorry, religion is one of the biggest enemies because it takes you on a trip to nowhere. Let me say that to you again. This is why religion is one of your biggest enemies because it takes you on a trip to nowhere. This is why denominations, y'all know that denominations are not the will of God. Why can I say that? Because the word denomination means to denominate, which means to separate. That's why your father looks different than your 10 and your 10 looks different than your 20 and your 20 looks different than your 50 because they're different denominations. How can they work together if they're different? They work together if they're all on the same page. So who cares if you're apostolic? Who cares if you're Baptist? It doesn't matter to Jesus because Jesus wants you to have a relationship. When you stand before him, he's not going to ask you what church did you attend. He's going to say, did you know me? Did you know me? Are you intimately acquainted with me? Do you know my voice? Do you know how I move? Because when he moves, you move. Do you? You know God like that. You know God like that. Because if you don't, then you got to restore and reconnect your relationship with God. Here, the key to getting anywhere in life will always be found in who you are in relationship with. The key to getting anywhere in life will always be found in who you are, who you are in relationship with. So you got to make sure and check who are you, who you with, who you roll with, because bad relationships will take you out of the will of God. Bad sexual encounters will take you out of the will of God. Wrong churches will take you out of the will of God. Because if these relationships are not pulling you somewhere, then they're detracting you and they're keeping you stuck. Ladies, and I don't know why I was thinking about this while I was preparing this message. But have you noticed that the majority of people that have had children out of wedlock are not married to the person they had the baby with? Y'all quiet. Because they didn't know before they did the do that that person was going to be the way they are. They didn't check the relationship. I just helped y'all. So you sleeping with the dude and you know you ain't gonna be with him. Quit sleeping with the dude. Marry him. Marry her. A 
Russell Wayne. You're doing right. All right, I'll quit that one. Let's keep on.